Hi guys, it's already day three and that means that it's the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, the families will join in and that's good, more people to enjoy this massive feast that is going on. Of course, it will be more crowded, it's so hard to get from one point to the other point and um, well, we manage, we do what we can. If you have any requests, this is the last day, uh, if you put the comments in really early after I've put this up, I might be able to, uh, to check out what you, what you need. Today I will be looking at the big companies and the booths they will have set up. Just have some pictures and have you uh, give you some idea of how that is. Have fun! Day 3! Has there ever been a game that you ran to, to, to play it or to buy it when you were at a con? That just happened two days ago as I ran to play or buy, really, Pandemic Iberia. Oh, cool. It's limited edition, right? Yeah, true. It's been this big buzz. It's not going to be available yeah. very soon. So, yes, myself and Eric Summer, actually, who I think is a closet fan of that game as big as me. <laughs> ran over there oh, cool. and bought a copy right away. Thankfully they had some still, so I was very happy. I, I Today I'm looking at a small game you probably have not heard about and it's called Cabo by Smiling Monster Games. Cabo uses a deck of cards that are numbered from 0 to 13. The deck is shuffled and each player receives 4 cards but is not allowed to look at them. You are only allowed to look at 2 of those cards. On your turn you take a card from the pile Look at it and choose to switch it out with one of your own cards or you choose to take a card from the deck. Some of the cards have an action on it. This one says peek and that means that you get to peek at one of your cards. Maybe you forgot them, maybe you didn't look at the, that one, so now you know. There are other action cards in the deck. You have spy, if you play that one you get to spy at one of the other player's cards or you can swap in which you swap one of your cards for one of the cards that the other player has. You can also at any point say Cabo which 
was the name of the game. And when you do that, you resolve the cards. I would have had six, seven, 10, 12 points and the other player would have far more than that. So now I would get no negative points because I was right, but the other player is getting all his points as minus points. The first player to reach minus 101 loses the game. Fun little game, Cabo by Smiling Monster Games. Bye.